Drake has a net worth of $250 million. The Canadian-born actor, producer, and rapper is one of the richest men in hip-hop and is consistently one of the highest-paid entertainers in the world, earning more than $430 million in his career. Here's how he spends it on mansions. Drake has come a long way from his child actor days on the Canadian teen drama Degrassi The Next Generation, worth today at $14.8 million. The YOLO estate, named after Drake's famous song The Motto, was started in 2012 when Drake bought a 12,500 square foot estate in California's Hidden Hills. There are six bedrooms and ten bathrooms on the three-acre property. He purchased Saddle Ranch from Larry Pollock for $7.7 .7 million, though it's not quite as grand as his Toronto home, but we'll get to that later. The Hidden Hills residence went for a more subtle facade. This English Tudor style home has large ranch style beams, cozy white and brown wood, and large windows. The home has seven bedrooms and nine bathrooms and includes an over 2,500 square foot main bedroom. Tennis and basketball court, sand volleyball court, horse stable, equestrian ring, and a mechanical riding bull. The stable houses five horses. Yeehaw! This Playboy house is just cool. In Hidden Hills, California, a gated neighborhood adjacent to Calabasas, the Toronto native certainly lives like he's on top of the world. Kanye West, the Kardashian clan, Justin Bieber, and other rich famous people have lived in the area. The estate has a luxurious pool, a man-made grotto, and glowing water surrounded by cave walls. According to rumors, it was constructed to compete with Hugh Hefner's Playboy pool. There are statues of naked women lining the pool area, as well as wet bars, flat screen televisions, waterfalls, and an 80-foot slide. The hotel-style home has one of the world's most luxurious pools, and Drake knows it. He once boasted in a song that his pool was bigger than Kanye's. Drake is said to have fallen in love with this pool before anything else. Years before he bought the house, he set the picture as his desktop background. In case you get bored of the water in caves, there's also a tennis court. The screening room can accommodate a lot of friends. The house has a cavernous wine cellar, a library, and we just love these beautiful wooden beams. The house was originally listed for $27 million, but the owner was at a low moment, said Drake, and he got a great deal. The view of the surrounding California hills is almost as amazing as that pool. But he didn't stop there. Drake then bought two more homes in the same neighborhood. Rumors say Drake promised his neighbors that he would buy their homes if his gatherings became too boisterous, loud, or out of control. After buying the first estate, Drake bought the adjoining house for roughly $3 million, and he ultimately paid $4.5 million for the other neighbor's 1950s ranch-style home on 6.7 acres in Hidden Hills. These three structures make up the YOLO estate. Drake, aka Aubrey Graham, may have started from the bottom, but he now lives in a Toronto mega mansion fit for royalty. In late 2019, the Canadian rap star constructed a 4,650 square meter luxury estate in his home country, which was probably one of the best places to be stuck during that global pandemic. On over two acres of land, Champagne Poppy's ultra luxury property is valued at $100 million. A 20,000-piece Swarovski crystal chandelier, lavish indoor pool, marble and limestone interiors, bespoke concert grand piano, and black marble bathtub are among the house's countless jaw-dropping features. There is also an awards room and a hall filled with framed sports jerseys, as well as an indoor NBA regulation-sized basketball court dubbed the OVO Center, short for October's very own. In a video he posted, the Toronto Raptors superfan scored a perfect shot from the extravagant top level down to the hoop below. A game in the OVO Center earlier this year attracted music producer DJ Khalid to his impressive athletic facility. To relax, the hotline bling singer has a glamorous lounge that includes a grand piano, a marble double-sided fireplace, and rows of gray sofas and chairs. In the modern kitchen of his pad, which also has an elevator, he has a large black and white marbled island that is perfect for entertaining. Drake's lavish new home looks more like a palace than a house considering the gated multi-million dollar estate includes a 10-car garage and a spacious driveway for his extensive auto collection. 
Buying the two-acre property in 2015 for $6.7 million, the music mogul hired Canadian home designer and builder Ferris Raffoli to create his dream home. The City of Toronto granted special permission last September to their hometown hero to build fences twice as tall as allowed in order to maintain privacy and security. In order to blend in with the neighborhood, Drake invested more than $1 million in six-meter tall trees along the fences. The house has many comforts one would expect from a rap superstar and celebrity, and definitely no corniness when it comes to the style. It combines classic elegance with contemporary style. Above the NBA professional court is a vast skylight. The Toronto Raptors, Drake's favorite team, might be practicing there or simply lounging. There is an Olympic-sized pool made of black granite, a recording studio with a retro vibe, and separate rooms for his entertainment accolades and sports jerseys. It is one of the most exquisite, empowering, and empirical homes ever owned by a celebrity. The rapper, who holds an impressive Guinness World Record, wants this house to carry his legacy long after he's gone. Drake's Palace in Toronto is expected to endure historically for a very long time while maintaining Drake's legacy. Drake's Toronto home was used to film one of his videos, Tusi Slide, in which the custom-built mansion is shown. Now you can explore Drake's luxurious bridal path mansion virtually, but be careful, you might end up with way too much drizzy gear if you get sucked down the online shopping rabbit hole. The just-launched virtual interactive experience at drakerelated.com is a pretty cool marketing experience that uses Drake's mansion as a springboard for getting your attention. This site is a one-stop shop for everything Drake-related, featuring tunes, apparel, and a tour of Drake's 50,000-square-foot mega-home. Starting with the exterior of the opulent mansion, he shows off some of his expensive cars as part of the virtual tour shopping experience. Inside Drake's home studio, you'll find links to October's very own clothing line, El Chico Studios, and Nocta Golf Brands. Due to the studio's name, you can also find Drake's smash hit albums like Certified Lover Boy and Take Care, as well as links to labels OVO Sound and Sound 42. Drake's bedroom appears to only offer links to Better World Fragrance House and El Chico Studios when the lights are on. When the light is switched off, the room transforms into a candlelit scene with links to the wet brand and certified lover boy. There has been little promotion for this fun little shopping experience, so perhaps you heard it here first. In an off-market purchase earlier in March 2022, the rapper paid $50 million, or $35 million less than the asking price, for another Beverly Hills property. Robbie Williams previously owned the property. 11 vehicles can be stored in the home's 25,000 square foot garage. The Tuscan-style home has 10 bedrooms and 22 bathrooms, in addition to a mosaic tiled pool, an outdoor kitchen, a wine cellar, a game room, a gym, a screening room, a tennis court, and an elevator. In 2015, Williams purchased the property for $32.67 million from guest co-founder Armand Marciano. A few years later, the former Take That singer. A few years later, the singer was hoping to sell it for $80 million, but failed to find a buyer. The Tuscan-style mansion sits on 20 acres of land in Beverly Hills. According to reports, there is no other home with that much land in the 90210 postcode. There are 11 garages in this 25,000 square foot property. Drake earned $45 million between June 2017 and June 2018. He earned $75 million between 2018 and 2019 and another $50 million over the next year. In May 2022, Universal Music Group announced that Drake had been re-signed to a long-term worldwide partnership. The deal includes recorded music, music publishing, film, television, and other brands. Drake has alluded to this deal in a few of his lyrics. Some have taken these lyrics to mean that he was paid $360 million up front in the light of Universal's confirmation. Other sources estimate the deal's value at $400 million or more. Drake's music catalog alone generated $50 million in revenue for the company prior to signing. Assuming the deal was indeed worth $400 million after taxes, Drake would have theoretically been paid $200 million up front. 
Well, there's no doubt Drake's lifestyle fits well into all of these houses, which allow him to showcase what he does best, entertain and host.